Hey everyone, it's Infinity Parks, and since we're back on here, it's time to do a Smuggler's Bounty Box review. And since it's Rebels Month, and we've been doing Galaxy of Heroes Rebels uh, events unlockings, why not a Rebels box? And I've actually been super excited about this box, so let's get this started. So we have Ezra and his season two outfit with the blaster lightsaber hybrid um smuggler's bounty and yeah just a normal smuggler's bounty box but with star wars rebels on the front so let's get it open um so i already know what's in here and i've been waiting to open all this stuff till this review which has been like a week now got it when Nicole was here, so, or Jedi Master 738, so, been waiting to open it for a while, um, so, we got, a uh, Zeb patch, with Rebels and Smuggler's Bounty, and Star Wars on this top, and sides, so, yeah, that looks cool, I have a bunch of these now, and I don't know what to do with them, maybe, after some time in the future, put them all on, like, a shirt, a plaid shirt, That'd be cool. Um, Star Wars Black Church. That'd be cool. And this one is Sabine's helmet for the pin. There you go. Sabine's pin. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, Sabine's been. There you go. Um, so with this box is March is March, and they come every two months. So the next one is May, and you know what that means? May the fourth. And with uh, Star Wars Celebration, which I'm going, so I'll be in my Kylo Ren outfit. So if you see me, come say hi. And let me know what you'll be wearing, and I'll try to find you. Um, but they are doing for the next box a new hope for the 40th anniversary. Yep, our May theme is 40th. It's just 40th. Doesn't even say new hope, so I'm guessing it's going to be new hope because it has new hope there, new hope here. Yeah. And then on the back it tells you everything here. So that's all spoilers right here of what's going to be in the box. But I'll just show you this part. Um, it shows you the different choppers you can get. Red, orange, black, I think some kind of gold and then silver. I got the, which is funny, orange. <laughs> so I got a black Darth Vader and an orange chopper. So, I'm getting pretty lucky with these. And I've already worn this shirt before. I just put it back in here so I can actually show you. So, let's get it open. Size large. So, we got the Rebels crew. All right here. I can't see past the shirt. But we got Hera, Zeb, Kanan, Ezra, Sabine, and Chopper with the Rebels logo. There you go. A little bit zoomed out so you can get it all in one picture. So there you go. All the Rebels cast in one shirt. And I always needed a Rebel shirt. Wish I needed a, I need a Thrawn shirt. So yeah. Um, so here's the chopper I was talking about. He's orange. So I got a Black Darth Vader and an orange chopper. So I actually got the actual colors of the characters, not some red chopper um so yeah and then the most exciting part of the box which are the final two things but they are the best parts and i am really happy for one of them because i always wanted more clones of pops i don't really have any might be getting one celebration four four second 442nd siege battalion trooper 
Yeah, and Thrawn, and Chopper. So yeah, I'll have to do hauls when I get those, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we got Darth Maul in his Rebels outfit. Um, with his Inquisitor lightsaber that he somehow stole. Yeah, Maul, Darth Maul. And the one I've been super excited about, which got spoiled like three weeks before this came out. We knew about Maul, but we were like, hmm, who's this? apparently there was going to be a second one. And we got spoiled that it's Captain Rex, Old Man Rex. So yeah, we got a Captain Rex. Yippee. Finally, I'm surprised we don't have him in his normal clone outfit, if that even exists. I don't think it does. We don't even have a Cody. Uh, but yeah, we finally got a Captain Rex in his old man outfit. And I've been waiting to open him for a while, so I want to see what he actually looks like. Don't want to damage the box too much, because I like to keep him in their box. The only one I don't have in their box is the Han Solo from the Empire Strikes Back box, and that Flock Chewbacca. Those are the only two that are not in boxes. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep Rex in this box or not, but just in case, I won't mess with him too much. I know, I know the Celebration exclusives are saying boxes. Might even get two, just because. Um, but yeah, here's Rex. This is a bald guy. But he's got his tool pistols. Yeah. Um. Never mind. I was gonna say that, like, if you see the colorization of his armor, it's not even like the same one he wore in the Clone Wars. It's like he got a brand new set of armor and just painted it that way. Like it's like his hybrids cuts from the phase one to two. So yeah, that's him right there. He's even his Captain Rexinus that I hope he survives. I'm hoping that he meets Cody someday in Rebels and see what happens. Um, so. It's weird that all the Funko boxes like have the First Order symbol on the back. It's weird. Even though they're not First Order characters. I guess it just tells you what year we're in. Year of the First Order. I don't know, there must be some explanation for that. There we go. Got him back in the box as good as I can get it. So yeah, there he is, back in his box. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for the Rebels uh, Smuggler's Bounty Box. I am excited to see what they do for the 40th anniversary. I know we've already done the Rebel... Um, I know we did the Rebel Box. It's, it's way before I started doing these. I know there was a Grand Moff Tarkin one, which... I kind of want to go get, but, <sighs> yeah, it's just hard to even get these boxes, but, yeah, oh, wow, I just noticed that, <laughs> that's like a weird version of C-3PO on there, I don't know if you can see it or not, there, can you, it's like, not even actually see the repia. I don't know. If you had it, you'll know, if you have this or at least the original picture of this. It's a weird version of C three PO. But I know that's like an early concept of New Hope. So yeah. Um I got a uh, another loot crate box which was the primal one with uh Predator uh, Predator, Jurassic World, and uh, Wolverine, Logan. 
uh, but I won't keep it. I think I'll sell it because I don't really like the Loot Crate boxes. The Lego Dimensions one, which was the first one I ever got, and I was hoping it was going to be the only one, but somehow they sent me another one, even though I canceled that order. Um, and I didn't get my money back for that, so I'm going to have to sell that box. But the Lego Dimensions box was a huge disappointment, so I won't get any more. I'm just sticking with Smuggler's Bounty. The Marvel Collector Core, eh, if they ever do one for Infinity War, I'll go get that one. Civil War was basically the only one I wanted, and yeah, that was it for other ones were like, eh, they're there. I got them. Okay. But the Star Wars ones, it's like a universe. I don't know, it's hard to explain it. It's hard to explain. It's like much more immersive than the Marvel. But I still like both. A little bit of DC as well. Just um, because of the new Power Rangers movie, I've been getting back into that. I used to watch when I was little. The Power Rangers game that is on mobile, the Legacy Wars. Jeez, just got me back into watching it. Some little bits, my little bits. So, yeah. Um, uh, we're going to continue with the Rebels Month. We have Ezra in about, I think, a day. You think? It's Thursday, the 30th, I believe. Yeah, it's the 30th. Of March and uh, since the events were delayed it's gonna go into April so Rebels Month will technically be mid-March and a little bit of April so we got um, Ezra and Sabine left and then they said they're gonna do um, the Ghost and Phantom 2 as characters and events and then people are speculating that there's gonna be Inquisitors Inquisitor, at least one Grand Inquisitor, um, Agent Callus, and I'm hoping, and people are hoping too, Grand Admiral Thrawn as well, and he gets his ship, because we have Grand Moff Tarkin and the Executrix, and why not Grand Admiral Thrawn and the Chimera, which that is actually how you say it, his ship, the Chimera. Um, but yeah, um, quick also review on the season's rebel finale i am um, i actually really liked it i'm actually excited for the thrawn book i am pre-ordering that like two days from now yeah it's thursday when ezra starts is when i'm pre-ordering it um i just like seeing all the like rebellion kind of work together to escape Thrawn's clutches and he was actually pretty cool and I love the Death Troopers if you I Death Troopers Empire soldiers new class of variation Death Troopers and they all got blown up <laughs> so they had what six Death Troopers in Rogue One plus the four we had here so there's like 10 death troopers in the known galaxy I mean dang even though there might have been like six in rebels and then six in rogue one and those six got killed in rebels and now there's six more and they got trained because it doesn't it's like what how long were you? like two years from rogue one so they can train death troopers that fast um, but yeah, season four, uh, they'll probably do, I know they'll do, like, a trailer, sneak peek at Celebration, so I'll go see that. I might do some videos for Celebration. I know I was supposed to do vlogs for when Jedi Master 738 was here, but she got those, and I'm like, well, there's no need to do double. So, if you want to watch them, go to her channel. It's on my channel, and it's on the right here. Yeah, on the right here. And it's like 
Disney Geek, and then uh, Jedi Master 738, uh, Brain Fart, and then there's a third one, which is one of my friends at work, and I just went like, eh, why not? So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, the Ezra will be after this, and then Sabine, if not, um, yeah, yeah, Sabine will be there. Sabine will be first, before Celebration, and I don't know when Phantom and Ghost will be, um, coming, but, yeah. So that is it. That is the Smuggler's Bounty Box review for Rebels. Um, quick review on season finale, no, uh, Zero Hour, and Thoughts on Celebration, which I am going to. Wish 738 can come, but apparently coming like three, four weeks later is a bit too much. Even though I know she's dying, she wants to come because she sees all this exclusive stuff. And I might go get her some things. Which, that is a secret. Even though she watches my videos. She does know the secret now. Don't listen to that, Nicole. Please don't. So, yeah. This is Infinity Parks. Signing out, and see you in a couple days.